Good morning, A-Team. It's your director, April, and I am just coming at you this morning with some um, quick information that I wanted to go over so that we can finish out um, our year strong and start 2014 off um, on the right foot. The first thing that I wanted to go over was getting your last orders in before Christmas um, so that they're delivered in time. I closed out my last local order that I um, let people know that I was offering free shipping on yesterday. We are leaving to go to Michigan on I think next Thursday so I'm hoping and praying that my orders get here um, Wednesday at the latest so that I can get those delivered and be off on my way um, to celebrate Christmas with Kyle's family. So if you haven't done so yet, um, obviously you guys, if you're not going out of town and you can be here, um, you don't want to be out delivering orders on Christmas Eve if you don't have to. So I would close local orders out um, as soon as you can. That way you're not out um, on Christmas Eve delivering um, packages to people. But also let people know, um, spread the word, post on Facebook, text, email, call, let, you know, have your, tell your friends and family to let their friends know that the 17th is the last day for them to order online and to receive their packages by Christmas. Now that does not guarantee um, inclement weather. So, you know, since he can't um, guarantee that UPS isn't going to have issues with delivering out in heavy snow. So keep that in mind also. Um, I am will be totally honest with you guys. I have been so caught up with Christmas um, that December 1st came and I had nothing on my books. I had no events, no parties, no... I had a couple baskets out um, that people ended up not having any sales from and I thought, oh my gosh, how am I going to get my sales this month? Well, I had to do exactly what I tell you guys to do all the time. I sat down, I went through my entire friends list and messaged every single person on there um, that I even thought might remotely need something. If they were local, I let them know that my last local order was going in yesterday and that if they needed anything, any last minute gifts, you know, people always have those like couple last things like, oh my gosh, I forgot to get my kid's teacher a present or, oh my gosh, I forgot to get Aunt Betty something. So the messages that I received in return were thankful. Oh my gosh, thanks for thinking of me. I don't need anything right now, but um, I'll let you know when I do. Or, oh my goodness, thank you so much. I do, and here's my order. I ended up, I thinking, just sitting down for probably about two hours and sending out messages, and then you just sit back and wait for, you know, wait for the responses. And I ended up getting, I think, $350 in orders just from doing that. And there's a lot of people who haven't responded yet, and a lot of um, people who aren't local that said, I do need some stuff, so where's, give me your link and I'll hop online and, um, and get my order in before the 17th. So for my non-local people, I made sure to let them know, you know, if you need something, here's my link, um, and make sure you get your order in by the 17th if you, you know, need anything for Christmas. So be sure to do that. You'll be glad that you did. And in the process, you're when you're contacting all these people, the people who might not need anything right now, it's a good chance to let them know, well, if you are interested in hosting a basket party or a home party or need anything in January, it's bring back my bar and double host this half off month. So at this point, you need to already start thinking about setting yourself up for January. January has always been a great month for me. People are done with Christmas. They have a little bit more time on their hands. Um, there aren't any big events going on in January and you can push Valentine's Day gifts um, you know, they would want to purchase in January to be ready for February. So, let's see. Bring back my bar. Make sure if you want a sampler pack from me that you um, let me know. Either message me or let me know on the post that I made on our group page. Sampler packs. Um, I'll have them out. I will order the bars on the 18th as soon as they're available and I'll already have the packages ready to go. As soon as I get the bars, I'll chop them up and stick them in the mail so that you guys have them before January. Let's see, um, like I was talking about with January, 
it's a great time to get parties, to get those. Um, it's the last month for earning incentive points. So if you can have a $2,000 month, that's 3,000 points towards the incentive trip. And a lot of you are going to end up closer than you, than you think. So push till the very, very end. If you um, need to look over your incentive trip points and want to talk about it with me to see where you're at and how you can get there, we can totally make a plan. There is still tons of time. I almost earned the entire trip in August. If I can do it in one month, anybody else can do it in one month. And January is a great month to do it. Um, anybody, it's a great time to contact any of your potential teammates and let them know, hey, I'm going to, I'm trying to get together a group of three people who all want to start out and we can do it as a team and get you guys started the right way. If you can get all three of those people certified that month, that's 18,000 points for you for the trip. So combine that with the points, any points you already have, and you might have already earned the trip for yourself right then. Um, after the 17th, after the delivery date, things will kind of slow down business-wise. So definitely take some time for yourself, for your friends and your family. Enjoy the season. But then after Christmas, um, you know, dedicate a half an hour a day to contacting people and get your January set up. It's such a great time to get your year started off right. It's going to be a time where we're going to be goal setting. Um, I'm going to talk our um, team project and incentive will be dream boards. So if you don't know what a dream board is, do a little bit of research. I will do a video um, probably at the end of December talking about dream boards. Um, I love dream boards. I think they're magical. Um, I can show you guys mine from two years ago. Let's see. Let me see if you guys can see this. Oh, the sun's getting me already. So here's my dream board. I have a picture of it on our team page too. So this was for 2012. And I can tell you that every single thing on my dream board it was totally outside of my comfort zone when I made this, but I still keep this one because this is the first one that I did and it's very special to me. Every single thing on here um, came true. And um, it took hard work, but when I, when I did it, it was uncomfortable for me. Um, that was before I made director. And in January, I think I was a star consultant. And so that was a big step outside my comfort zone. I didn't, you know, at that point, I wasn't really seeing myself as a director yet, but I wanted it, so I put it on there. And um, we made a big move that year and got a new house and all kinds of great things. So um, I will go over dream boards a little bit more when it gets closer to the first of the year. But that's going to be our um, project for January. And I am telling, oh, you guys like my hat? You guys get... Um, the very undressed up version of me today, but it's freezing cold outside. But it does get there. You guys want to see the snow today at the farm? I went out and took pictures of the weeds because it looks so pretty. There's the barn. So this is my view from my desk. And let's see, we'll go over here. Here's the pond and the trees. That tree right there, the the cat likes to climb. You can't really see the pond. It's behind the those palm trees right there. So that's the little view of where I sit and do all my all my work. So let's come up with a plan for January. I think 2014 is going to be a huge, huge, huge year for our team. Um, I haven't ran the official numbers, but I think we are going to after. December, as a team, our entire team has sold close to probably more than $300,000 um, retail. That is crazy. That's over a quarter of a million dollars. Um, that's such a huge number, like it blows my mind. So I can't even imagine what our numbers are going to be like last year because for 2012, we were nowhere near $300,000 um, retail. So I hope everybody has a great holiday season and you guys get to spend some um, quality time with your family. And um, if you need anything, call me. I'm going to be running around wrapping presents and getting ready to go out of town. Um, wish me luck on our drive to Michigan. Hopefully we don't encounter any crazy snow, but um, 
watch for your mailboxes. I sent out some fun mail. Um, let me know if you have any questions or need anything wrapping up um, your holiday season. And watch our team page for updates. All right. Bye, guys.